what I'm doing here <clears throat> is I'm going to attempt to make myself a custom Michael Myers action figure. What do we need? Well, we need a blowtorch. What? We're going to burn Action Jackson's face? No, we're not. <clears throat> so, this is a piece of cellophane. You see that? What I did was I heated it. See that? Heated it, and it got real pliable, and I threw it over Action Jackson's face. What am I using? You recognize that? That is a blister pack from a 2018 Mego Star Trek figure. And never mind my workroom. This is my workroom. This is where I do all of my models, my RC stuff, and all of this stuff when I start using blowtorches. So, yeah. So, as you can see, we got a nice... Let me see if you see that profile there. See that profile? That's going to be our Michael Myers mask. And we're just going to make this up as we go. I give this no thought except for grabbing a piece of this plastic to see how it would heat. And guess what? It heats actually quite nice. So, let me start this blower. Kids at home, watch your fingers. See that? So here, here's how it here's how it heats. See how pliable it gets? You see that? Okay, so we want to apply uh, get this a little more pliable, okay? So watch your fingers. You don't want to burn Action Jackson. And then we'll be able to cut this as we go. Just gotta pull this down like so, because we want to have a nice surface to glue hair on. You're going to have to do this in stages, of course. And it cools pretty quick, so... Let's have a look here. You see, as we go, we start to get a full mask. So we're going to heat these now, maybe one at a time. Maybe if I uh, clamp these together, I want to be able to pull it apart like so, you know? So what, what can we do? Uh, we'll use one of these pinch clamps right here. And we'll pinch the plastic together. And that'll stop it from... And again, when we're done, we can trim this up. And you don't want to get too close. You just want to... I mean, this torch has got a lot of heat. This is my ho own home homemade vacuum form. You know? And again, I don't want to seal the back of the head because all of that's going to get cut off. I just need this here and this area here to glue hair to. Hair. What am I going to use for hair? Well, you know, I take this one step at a time, so. And what I do want, though, is to make sure that this actually clamps on here so I can take it off. Not that I want to take it off. I mean, he's just an Action Jackson, right? So, take this clamp off. Slide that over there. And there is our basic let me see if I can get that in focus there see that this is our basic mask I want to see if I can get this end here a little folded under but you can see how nice it fits like so so you know what let me get my clamp back on here because I want to try to hold this in place as much as possible you know
that was too much. Gotta slow it down. That cool. Okay. There. Now let's say we trim this up. Okay. This is what I've decided to use for my Michael Myers hair. This is an artist brush. I'm going to use this and I'm going to glue this tediously onto my mask. And uh, we'll have a look periodically as we go. All right. I got some hair glued on here and it's going to get a... Uh, haircut real quick before I do any painting but uh, yeah it needs to be cut so let's do that okay. I got the hair on I think I'm gonna trim the hair up a little bit more and I got it painted but now with the paint on there I can see where I need to retrim my mask and before I drill my holes for my eyes okay and the hair is uh, probably still a little bit long, so maybe we'll go back to that. But remember that Michael Myers mask that he wore? That hair was all over the place. It was horrible. So yeah, stay tuned. We're moving right along here. I think I need to trim up the hair a little bit more. And uh, maybe something. I'll have to do a little thinking. I spent about literally probably one hour customizing an action Jackson I had to put back together because I hate this figure but I, I came up with an idea to make a custom Mego Michael Myers I don't know not bad for my first time but uh, yeah I mean and the donor the knife was a uh, donated to him by a Deadpool figure so I'll keep my eye open for a real butcher knife and uh by the way, black acrylic paint on those Action Jackson boots, and you smear them with a little brown, they look fantastic. And acrylic paint on the jumpsuit really gives it that, that look of, uh, yeah. I think if I trim the max, mask here and there a little bit more, I think it'll really start to look good. I, I've trimmed it, and I've trimmed it, and, uh... You know, I'll, I'll play with it over time. But, again, Action Jackson has proven to be a really good figure that you can mess around with. And uh, not only is he good for donating parts, he's actually good for stuff like this. So, yeah, that was a fun little product project for uh, a Sunday afternoon. So, yeah. Let's stand him up here. And uh, you get his arm way up here like so. Now all I need to do is get a tootie or something. So he could be holding her head. Because he cut it off. You know. That would be kind of cool. But anyway. Holland Wolf out.